I think we could use a mantle. To put a mantle on my fireplace, I need to make sure that I have my mantle installed high enough and I need to consult my instruction manual. So I'm going to take some measurements and figure out how high I can have my mantle and also how wide I want my mantle. And there's a couple of regulations I need to follow with the width of it too. Now that we have the measurements done, we can transfer it to the wood and start our cutting. We are going to cut these uh, at 56 inches. So let's go ahead and do that. I have two options here putting this beam together. Number one is I can simply take the top and then the front of the beam and either glue, screw, nail them in like this, but then the wood grains won't match up on the top and especially when I do the sides, the wood grains won't match up at all. It'll not look like a maple beam, it'll look like I just put pieces of wood together. The other option I have is to cut all the pieces that are touching at 45 degree angles. And when I do that, the top joint's going to look like this, almost resembling like something like a thick maple beam. And then if I do that on these sides too, this is exactly what you'll see. So closer to the real thing and saving hundreds of dollars in the process. Now that we've cut the wood, we're going to use some wood glue and glue all the pieces together and secure them temporarily with some brad nails. Let's get to it. Also attached a cleat to hold the mantle, screwing into the studs behind the wall. Just to make sure I liked the stain, I tested it on some sample pieces. I then stained things very quickly. Well, the mantle is all stained. I had to add a third coat and go with a little bit of darker stain because the first two coats weren't quite dark enough for my liking, but it looks good enough. I don't think I'm going to put a polyurethane on it yet. I don't want it to get really glossy, so we might do that later. It's ready to install. Let's go. Here we go. Yeah, I think that'll do. All right, I am gonna attach it by either sinking some finish nails in the top to hold it onto the cleat, or maybe some set screws underneath. I'm gonna wait a little bit to see how the heat and the stain interact. I think it should be fine though. Awesome, I love it when the plan comes together.